Hey you guys! So today we're looking at this, which is a Marvel Legends series cable. Well, Nathan Summers. Um, obviously from the... Uh, it was a film, wasn't it? What was the film? Um, the, the, um, 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 oh yeah, Deadpool. Um, there is Deadpool's logo. It would have been nice if they'd have made that sticker. Just, just for comedy value. Um, obviously Nathan Summers crossed out because uh, we f do forget that he is um, Cyclops, is it Jean Grey? Jean Grey's, one of the Jean Grey's sons, son. Um, yeah. Is he Jean, isn't that right? I think it is, used to be. Was well, back in my day, well, I've, I've been known to be wrong, quite a bit. So yeah, yeah, there he is, Mr. Cable. Uh, nice artwork down the side there of Cable with his glowing eye. Uh, shame that doesn't have a glowing eye. And we have on the back, a nice, also, Picture of him with his glowing eye. Um, all the legal easy stuff on the bottom there. More legal easy stuff on the bottom there, but upside down because I'm holding it upside down. Um, series 01621. Uh, same artwork on both sides and that on the top. Right, let's get him out of the box. So yeah, I've been waiting a while for this one. Um, it's kind of weird how, with the current situation, how things are you know, getting here early, getting here late, etc. Nice artwork on the back there of the X-Men logo. Yeah, it's weird. I've got, I get some stuff early, I get some stuff late. Um, so, hmm. now it's nice because Marvel Legends do not put cable ties. Hasbro do not put cable ties like NECA do, so I don't have to spend 10 minutes unraveling things and cutting things off. Um, there is his cloak. And also, some people get these a little early because they get them sent by nice old Hasbro. I have to buy mine, and then I have to wait for them to turn up. There we go. So, stands reasonably well out of the box. Not too bad. The cape, I can tell, is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, He has his rifle, which is a pretty nice rifle. Is any of this dismemberable? No. It is made of rubber, so it does have a bit of bend to it. Uh -huh. And then there are added extras in here, so there's that bit, two of the fists which are uh, Deadpool punching fists, so we don't need them just yet, so I'll put those there and move that so I don't knock it on the floor and make a lot of noise. Alright, so I guess these bits fit on in different places, that goes there, well, that looks like it should fit some there. Oh, right, so I guess we either have that one on or that one on. I think. Because I can't see any other grooves where that would go. There's not a groove on that to fit that to that, so. Hmm. I think I'll go with the bigger one. Yeah. Nice. Will he hold said rifle in said hand? Well, he's got a gun holding hand so I certainly hope so there we go oh no yes no it's in there huh but his own body armor is gonna gonna stop that and the KP is moving the KP is moving so right we'll fiddle with that in a minute um there is a little pistol that looks like if we can see it like so there we go which goes right to below seven one plugs into there and then it is held oh you've got a little teddy bear look, look, uh, and we know the sad story behind the teddy bear i do think they should have maybe put a wash across that you know made it look a little bit burnt because in the film it is a little bit burnt and tatty it's still a nice bear and maybe maybe if you got the time you could put a wash over it and paint in the kind of the strappy bit that's holding it in. There is the arm, which I mean which other Marvel character would have an arm like that? Pookie! Yeah. Well, it's nearly winter and he's a soldier. Um yeah, nice chunky arm there. Now let's have a look at this face. That is a pretty good face. Yeah, that is a good likeness. 
a little bit of some metal in his neck there. This is irritating me already. It's removable. Wow, well, makes his neck look a little long. Hmm. The body armor is a separate piece. So the body under there is probably a pre-use of somebody else's body. And I dare say at some point, seeing as this is Hasbro, this will probably turn up on a on a, a G.I. Joe. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, see, gun fell out. So does it go that way instead? It goes that way. Hmm. Which way would you put it? It goes that way, but it goes either way. I'm going to take it out for the course of the video because it's just going to fall on the floor. There's the back. Say the metal work down his neck. The arm is quite nice. It's got metal and slightly darker colour in there, which is pretty good. Um, all these grenade launchers and things. Grenades for the grenade launcher under there. Right, let's have a look while this is off at articulation. So that arm is pretty stiff and only goes up to there because it collides. Elbows. Oh, it is a double joint in there so we can get it quite high up. Um, same with that arm. That arm is not quite so bad but I say it doesn't go up very far. Because of his own bodywork. There is... A little bit of play in the middle there. Right, no tilt. Oh, forgot the head. So forward, up. It is a ball joint in there. There is tilt, and there is tilt. So we can have quizzical look. What? Hey, you guys. Yeah. So uh, uh, that up to there. That up to there. Back to there. Does that go all the way? Nearly! Oh, just not quite a butt kicker. There is a swivel in the thigh and ankle and there is a little bit of in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, there is a little bit of give and take in there. Right. I have to say it's a nice figure but this is, I mean it's, it's rubber, I'm wrong, but it does kind of sit. It sits nice if you're just going to stand it in a normal pose. That arm does not want to go down now. Let's have a look. No. Neither arm wants to go down. He's going to have to stand with his arms up. Hmm. Made his feet on level now. Mess him out with them. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I, I think getting him to hold the gun is going to be a problem, but he may be just posed with, you know, like the gun, like he's carrying it. Hmm. Huh. I like that. Yeah, I like it. It's got a really good. I, I think the face is great. The likeness is brilliant. So, just out of interest. Here he is with... Now, I was hoping that Deadpool and Megasonic Teen were going to turn up. I get the feeling they may be turning up today. There he is with Domino. The only other Deadpool that I could find that was sort of a similar thing is that one. So that works quite well. Um, and just out of interest, I don't, know, I don't know why, but I did kind of feel that that was a good figure to stand at the back. Because, you know... He's not exactly the tallest person on the planet. Now, I did lose my ruler the other day. Ah, found it. And I'd left it on the other side of the room because somebody asked me to measure how tall one of the Doctor Who figures was. So I'll take it over there. Right. So he stands at about 16 and a bit centimetres. Or just a little bit under six and a half inches yeah uh hopefully my megasonic team and the dead what's it guy are going to turn up today so that video should be up 
soon, but we do have a myriad, a plethora of other videos. I guess this is the thing, I film things and then something cool turns up like this and then I've got to do this and I think, all right, go get out before that and then that other video gets put back and put back and put back and then suddenly I realise that, oh, I've not put that one on. Yeah. So I think he may be, he may be sort of in on the shelf sort of stud. Like that, because I don't think you're going to get... I don't know, maybe. Oh yeah. It will kind of go around there. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah. Hmm, that's not a bad... That's not kind of a bad pose, is it? That looks kind of groovy. Groovy. Yeah, I like it. It is a nice figure, and he does stand up quite well, even when I'm knocking the table. <laughs> it's like I say though, it's, it's kind of weird that they gave you two different ones to choose from. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to watch the film now and see which one he actually has on his rifle. The, the research I have to do, it's terrible. I have to watch films, oh, terrible. So anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, what I would really like you to do, and I never did a Goonies joke all the way through this, is hit the likes, hit the shares, and hit the subscribe buttons. Uh, all of it really, really helps the channel. I hope that all of you have a great day and a great night, and hopefully we will see you all in the next video. Bye now. Bye now. Goodbye now. See you later now. Goodbye now. Kissy noises. Bye now. Bye now. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you...